Okay, now that we have our deposit address set, let's set some metadata records. Uh, the first two we have here are avatar and banner. Uh, it's very easy to set avatar and banners. Uh, you have two options you can select from your NFT gallery. Uh, I don't have any NFTs in this wallet, so you can't see it, but you would just select an NFT, hit set, and then uh, you can also verify your NFT, which is a nice feature. Uh, but I'm just going to upload from local here. I'm going to select my apps 91, my peacock, and set him as my PFP. And like I said, uh, if you want a verified PFP, you must select it through select an NFT and select it from your gallery. Otherwise, we can't confirm that this is an actual NFT, right? Um, so now if I go back to view profile, you see my PFP is set, but there is no verification circle border around it. Um, if you actually go through and set it through the gallery, you'll get a nice purple ring around your PFP that shows it is a verified PFP. Um, now back to edit. Uh, banner works in the same way. You can upload from your PC or you could just select it from your gallery. Um, and the gallery is actually a really nice feature. It aggregates across all your wallets that are associated with this NFT. So any wallet that you link to this NFT, uh, it will search across all the wallets and display all of your NFTs in your gallery uh, right here. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I have no NFTs in this wallet, so can't show any. But moving further down the field here, uh, down the form, uh, you have a bio, which is just a text record. Uh, you could use it however you'd like. Um, personal information, name, email address, and address. It's unlikely to be used by most crypto people, I assume, but uh, businesses and stuff like that could feel free to, to use those fields. Uh, social media, probably more heavily used. Uh, you got Twitter, Discord, Telegram, and LinkedIn. Twitter, Discord, and Telegram are all verifiable. Uh, LinkedIn, we don't currently have any way to verify. Um, Algo XYZ is uh, essentially our top level proxy uh, that we allow users to use. So for instance, this NFT here, nfdomains.algo, uh, turns into nfdomains.algo.xyz if you just want to look it up via DNS, uh, so in you know any web browser. Um, and then that will route you to whichever page you want. And so you have control here where you want to redirect to. Um, if you want to use, if you want to direct people right to your NFT gallery, all you do is just hit that and bam, there you go. Uh, but if you want to just leave it as your profile page, kind of like a, a link tree or something like that, then just leave it as the default. Um, it says right here, it will redirect you to your profile page default, um, if left blank. So, or you can just paste in any link you want there and redirect people to whichever site you want. Say you own a different website and you want to redirect people there when they look up your uh, .algo. You can, you can do that too. And uh, here are some more fields that you can fill in, domain, GitHub, and website. Uh, domain, meaning if you own another website, um, you can put that in here, and then you can actually go through the verification process and verify that you own that domain. Um, now, unverified addresses is pretty interesting. Unverified addresses are addresses that you cannot sign for but you want to associate with this NFT for whatever reason. So addresses that you can't sign for might be things like uh, vaults, right? That have multi-sigs, um, or it could be, um, you know, automated accounts, like uh, smart contract accounts. Um, it could be LP pools. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Just any wallet address that you can't actually sign for, uh, you could put in there. And integrators and people in the ecosystem, they should not look at this wallet address as uh, verified. So that's why we call it unverified addresses, because this is an address you can't sign for, for whatever reason. So you could put in any arbitrary wallet address, and nobody should believe that this wallet, account, this wallet NRLA, has signing rights to RSV. Um, 
you know, so that's just how that works. Uh, and then custom fields is if you actually want to create a field and then, you know, fill it in, you first add the field and then uh, you can fill in whatever, you know, data you would like to put there. Um, so just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do a few verifications here. So I'm going to first do my Twitter. I'm going to do these one at a time, even though you could do it all at once. I'm just going to do it uh, to show you the process. So once you make a change, you go down here to update metadata and you just have to sign for it once. Okay, and that was successful. Uh, I can confirm that by going back to my account and just checking the text record and there you go. Twitter, uh, John Mazin. Uh, so now let's go back into edit. Let's go to verify. And you see uh, verify field avatar. So my avatar is just uploaded from my PC. So this link will not be able to ever work, right? Like that's uh, unverifiable. If this was different, maybe I could, but um, I want to I wanna verify my Twitter account. So let's let's go to verify and hit start verification and tweet challenge. Okay, and let's tweet that out. Okay, and now once I have that tweeted out, I come back here and I hit confirm and NFDs checks uh, and says, did at John Mazzoni tweet out the verification challenge that we just gave him. And if yes, then uh, my Twitter gets moved down into a verified section. So now uh, if I go back to my profile, I can see verified and I have a straight link through to my profile, which is really awesome. Um, it's, it's really, really cool. Uh, so this these verified fields, um, I have a feeling are going to be used for a lot of things. Uh, and now let me show you how to do Discord real quick. So for Discord, all you do is come to this channel and there'll be a big green button that looks like that, start verification. Uh, since this is the first one being verified on mainnet, I have to do the command. So it says verify get ID and it says welcome. Uh, and then it gives you this ID here. And this is your Discord Snowflake ID. And so you're going to copy that and you're going to go back into Discord and paste that in. And now that is your Snowflake ID entered into uh, the Discord text field. And you're going to update that. Essentially, you need to enter the information here, update it, and then go over to the Verify channel um, to verify it. That's typically the flow of verification. Um, so you can see it's uh, it's now set here, and it says uh, you can verify your Discord account in the verification section. Okay, now to actually verify this, you have to go back to our Discord, and you just hit verify, confirm, and then nfdomains.algo. And what it does is it checks that my Snowflake ID was set into NF domains uh, record. And bam, it says NFD verified. Congratulations, John.algo, your NFD has been verified. Um, and then if we go back here, you can already see it updated uh, to change first on verify your Discord account. Uh, so if I go into here and check verified, there it is. Uh, John Algo is my verified uh, my verified Discord, and so that's pretty much it, guys, for setting uh, 